Yo guys, I'm Fast Fingers, and welcome back to uh, Farming Simulator 15. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to use cosplay to cut a grass field. Grass fields don't have any data that cosplay can use, unless they've been cultivated or ploughed beforehand. Now this is a brand new uh, save game. I've just bought field 5 here, and it's rather a big field with some trees in the middle, but I've got a funny feeling no clippings on so I think we're going to be good with this. What we're going to do is set up uh, this little tractor with course plate and we're going to record the boundary of the field. Because there is no boundary for this field at the moment, course play won't recognise it. So what we're going to do, open course play, go on here, click start recording. And then just simply drive around the field, the edge of it. Now I want to try keep to the edge of it, just to... Uh, well, as close to the edge as possible. Because we want to get as much yield from it as possible. So here where these bushes are, I'm just going to keep outside them. Keep it a little bit more realistic. Now what we're going to do here is, because the tractor will probably get stuck in there, is go around here, and then up. It's these hedges that seem to pull you in that uh, I'm a bit wary of. Actually this field is quite big. I think it's 9 hectares. 9 acres. You can see down in the bottom there that it's actually counting 121, 23, 24. That's the amount of waypoints or these orange dots that it's putting down. And this is what's recording the course. So every one of them dots has a coordinate. Right, okay, so we're coming up to the start now. This is probably where the crone will probably uh, struggle. So anyway, don't go right up to that that point, otherwise it'll just, it won't work. So now we've got this, we can stop it. And then you can see the boundary, that, oh no, you can see the start. So to look at the boundary, you can click that button. And then you can see the uh, boundary as much as possible there. Right, we need to save this. So we'll call this... Uh, Boundary for ba bound for boundary, and then uh, field five, and we'll save that. Right, so for now, we can get rid of this tractor. Go swap over to the uh, crone. Now you'll notice that the boundary is gone. We can soon upload that, soon get it in. Let's open this out. Uh, yep, what we do is we just click in here and look, there it is, bound field 5. Then all you do to reload that is click that button. So there we go, we've got the boundary back up. Let's have the full uh, view on. Let's put them down. So right, what we need to do at the mo at the moment we're on this setting, but we need to switch it to field work. So you click that, and then if you notice that one ungrade or became enabled, we will click on that one. Field edge path currently loaded course. Well, we know it's the right course because it's there. Right, working with this is where we need to set this machine. So if you click calculate, it'll put that line there. 
but I just want to come down one notch just to try and keep it so it, it doesn't miss any starting corner southwest southeast oh no no southeast we want and then we're going to go north hopefully and then return to first point deactivated headland right headland I want to and what headland is is the boundary going all the way around the outside so I want it to go all the way around the outside twice one on the outside and one on the inside if you know what I mean is it'll show you in a minute it's just so that when it comes to do the zigzags across the field that it's got plenty of room to turn around in otherwise it's gonna foul on the hedges and things so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna save oh no we need to process it so that's what you do generate field course so there you go so now as you can see that's the run it's going to do and it's going to go right around there so what we will do now is put them up out the way uh, and then we're going to save this course because we're happy with that field 5 grass cut something simple and then what we're going to do is click on here and change this that's going to start course at nearest waypoint. Well, we don't want it to start at the nearest. We want it to start at the first waypoint. So now all we do is click drive. He's going to look around for that first waypoint. Oh, and he would have to hit my tractor. All right, okay. So we can go move him out of the way. Look, he hasn't bashed into him or anything. He's just said that he's, he's in traffic. going to drive through them trees so we're going to see if clipping's on now anyway huh. no so he's drove straight through them that wooded area but the thing is with this it says to start at like to pick a corner to start at but yet it doesn't seem to pick that corner it's really weird but let's see how it works. Now he's going to unload. Now to me it looks like he's going to clash with that. Um... So let's just see what he is going to do. Right, for instance there. He's stuck on the hedge. So we can stop that. Bring it back. And what you can do now is just click the current waypoint. There he's on his way now. So let's see how he works. What I'll probably do guys is skip forward or fast forward it to the end to show you.
welcome back guys as you can see the field is all mowed up now almost apart from this last little bit it was just one or two little hiccups along the way where it got stuck in a little hole trench or whatever but as you can see it's all done and dusted you just need to go around and pick up the grass so as always if you like the video guys please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't uh, there's going to be more of these videos coming out soon i'm going to be doing all sorts with course play tutorial videos oh look there there's a notice there to say that it's finished then all you do is click that jobs are good un. so thanks very much for watching guys and i will see you next time peace out